Hello everyone. How many know Ghibli as anime most prestigious studio? But I would wager Studio Bones has legitimate claim as well, due to consistency and diversity of her generations. And it's gonna need them for space dandy. This is a mess of eclectic genres where the MC nook himself in the first episode, and then pretend like nothing happened before turning into zombie. Absolute mad lab. On the first look, Space Dandy might seem like a collection of random antics, as it's presented in an apologetically brazen way. But this case of the week series is a much more competent storyteller than it looks. Each episode managed to surprise me, in one or many ways, from the unexpected genre shift to crazy comedy skit. I've seen many space drama or action, and most of them have linear progression and somewhat predictable storyline in exception of a few great titles. Dandy takes all their tropes, put them in a the blender, then takes one outlandish narrative and use it as the episode theme. You can get action filled episode in one, then a space trip in the next. It's this unpredictability that makes it so entertaining. And to top it off, the series might pull off insane stunts in nearly every episode. Like Dandy once skate in space half naked, while an insert ballad song serenade the whole thing. Comedy is pretty subjective, and it's hard to land it right. Most anime would do superficial over your scene, because it will at least invoke certain reaction, as though the audience have pre-programmed response. And that's why even if I think anime has progressed significantly, sometimes it still falls into the same mistake, like typical lucky accident or Sunday retro. Dandy doesn't really care about all that. The series and also the character just do whatever they want. I really appreciate this. Of course, there are some jokes or scenes that might not land because they are way out there. It's also rather brass with the fan service, and I will admit this is one of the aforementioned common tropes. However, Dandy can still put his own spin and make it interesting. For example, when he turns into a zombie but still has the urge to go to boobies, apparently futuristic hooters and even says he rather dies than not go to boobies. There is other commitment to the cause, and managed to get a few chuckles out of me when boobies actually welcome zombie daddy. A lot of the humor comes from the visual. It would use fast edit or hard cut for comedic purpose, sometimes repeated several times for extra effect. It really reminds me of Edgar Wright movies like in Hot Fuzz. There is certainly plenty of western influence here. At some points, it even becomes slapstick comedy like in retro Looney Tunes. I don't mean the graphic turns into GB version, it actually morphs the law of physics and becomes cartoonish. The cast even mentioned this or even addressed the narrator like it's something normal in their universe. For comparison, Kaguya-sama has similar fast-paced humor as well, but it used more quintessential anime stick while Dandy used more western cinematic style, which to its credit fit the series more. The visual is also capable on action or wood building, so it's not completely shenanigans. Bones has decades under their belts, so when the action starts, it won't disappoint, and most likely its episode would have one or two spectacle. I also like the design for the characters, especially the protagonists. Dandy is exactly how you picture him with pompadour and flashy outfits. Mio is the alien that looks like a cat. Not a whole lot of originality here, but easy to remember. Cutie is the adorable robot companion. Not sure if it's actually cutie as in actually adorable, or reference to Quentin Tarantino. He has a lot of personality for a walking cube, and I had a good laugh when he got turned into zombie, somehow. I would like to see more of the word design though. This is mainly for the first season, and the setting looks amazing, but I haven't seen any place that really stands out aesthetically. And of course since Dandy has fascination for boobies, the design for ladies is pretty on point. This is shamelessly fan service. it even prioritized this over narration. But when a series can implement fan service into a story, that's a win in my book. One small flaw from the first season is the slow development. We don't really know much about Dandy aside from his obsession on boobies. 
There's barely any backstory about the cast at all, actually. This is subject for later episodes, but if you want a character arc or hero's journey, this is a slow progress. Space Dandy was released almost 7 years ago, but the good thing about comedy is it's pretty much timeless. And the presentation from Bones will still be entertaining whether it's back then or today. It's also a good sign that boobies will still be adored way into the future. And that's it, thank you for watching. Please drop a like and comment below. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make 3 videos every week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.